Hello and welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot. This is for Capricorns. Hi Capricorns. This is what the person wants to tell you reading. Man, I just had to sage after doing Aquarius because somebody had a whole lot to say to Aquarius and my energies was high, okay? So I don't know what's going to come out in these energies when the person has something to say to you. It may not resonate with you all. If not, you know, check your other sign, sun, moon, and rising. Uh, Cappy, this is what the person wants to say to you. We will counteract their, your response later on during the month, so definitely... Give a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button so when your response comes up, you will uh, be notified of us responding. So this is Cappy. Capricorn, this person has something to say to you. It could be the person you tuned in to this um, reading for. It could be someone around you, family, friends. I don't know. You'll have to see where it resonates, but it may not resonate with you all, and that's fine. So let's just get into it. It's very quick. It's, you know, but stay to the end because I'm telling you, Aquarius went to a whole different meaning by the end of that uh, reading. So definitely stay to the end to see what resonates with you. Okay, Capricorn, what does this person want to tell you? Please show me the energies that this person has towards Capricorn at this time. And this is a first two weeks of April. This person has the Ace of Swords. Cappy, I feel they want to tell you the truth or they have seen the truth. We're going to get more as the cards go out, but that is the top of the reading. No matter what, we're talking about troops here. We're talking about somebody telling the truth, seeing the truth or whatever. Let's see, Cappy. They either want you to tell the truth or they're telling you the truth. This message just may be the truth that you need to hear. All right, now we got uh, King of Swords. Now we know the King of Swords, look at everything logically. This person, Capricorn, is telling you that they're looking at everything logically. At this time, they're not even thinking with their heart. They're trying to be balanced, see the situation for what it is. And they're thinking with their head. They're not thinking with their heart at this time. So whatever this message is, it's, at this time, it's not heartfelt. It's directly from the head. Okay. What else you want to tell Cappy while Cappy is listening? Oh, now you got the King of Cups. All right. Um, okay. Hmm. I'm getting two messages here. I told you guys, sometime, hey, it's whatever comes in. Cappy, this person is telling you Oh, I got it. Okay. So the truth is, Cappy, this person feels that you balanced them out. That you look at things logically and you have a cup of love. So you're open mentally, physically. Mm. So they want to tell you how they truly feel about you. They see you as the king of swords. And they also sing you, see you as the king of cups. So they, have, they feel you have the balance within yourself. And maybe it took them some time to see that. But they want you to know that they see you in all your power and glory. All right. Okay. Ooh, for a minute, y'all had me going. What else you want to tell Cappy? Why Cappy's listening? Um, you got the uh, five of cups. This person is letting you know. Oh, that is so beautiful. They see the change in you. Something happened between you, Cappy, and I'm sorry, but... They're no longer crying over spilled milk when it comes to you. Oh, no. Cappy, you're helping them heal. The truth is, they were hurt in the past. 
They couldn't seem to leave the past in the past because they were really hurt by someone. And Kathy, you being as balanced, maybe you've been a friend there for them. They've seen you've been there as a friend, helping them through things logically, telling them the truth in the situation, maybe how you've seen it, offering them that cup of love, and they want you to know that you have helped them heal. And that is the truth. That is so beautiful, Capricorn. That is so nice. Let's see what else you have to say to Cappy. See, you never know how these readings are going to turn out. It's nothing like Aquarius. Not at this time, but sometimes it takes turns. All right. What else you have to say to Capricorn at this time? Oh, my. You know, the moon card is things that's hidden self-consciously you've helped this person heal and they was hiding that information from you but they want you to know now they want you to know the truth that they can't hide it anymore they actually have feelings for you that they've been hiding and they want you to know that they want you to know the secret that they truly do care about you and they appreciate everything that you've done for them. And I just keep hearing, and this is the truth. Um, they feel that sometimes they may not show you enough of how you've helped them heal and move forward on their journey from something that really hurt them in the past where they did not feel they could move on or they was just, they had been through a lot. And Capricorn, you was there for them. Yeah, they, I mean, the spirit is saying they're just saying thank you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Is it any? Yeah, and that's the truth. If they've been hiding their feelings. They've been hiding, telling you this, but not anymore. They're telling you right now, Capricorn. So whoever this is, they're expressing it right now. Let's keep going. This is supposed to be a quick read, guys. Oh, my goodness. Cappy. I don't know who you are, Cappy. But you are truly a gift to someone who have went through things. You've shown up for them. I'm, I'm just speaking to what this person, they said, you're so balanced, and that's why they see you as the king of swords and the king of cups. They see you balanced, and that you give an equal give and take in a relationship, and they adore you. Oh, my goodness. I, I got like, chills, like warm, fuzzy feeling. They adore you. They also feel that Cappy, okay, this is another turn. You deserve an equal give and take relationship. They're saying like you have so much to offer, but you, at this time, you're not committed to anyone or you don't want to commit. But no matter what, they just want you to know that they appreciate your give and take. And they want to make sure that they can give you as much as you've given them. Like they say they owe you. Just, this is the message coming out. Capricorn, they feel that they owe you and not in a way of paying you. But first and foremost, they owe you the most respect. And they honor you. And they do not want to lose you out of their life. They're hoping that this message don't send you in a different direction away from them. Because... They say they understand that you don't want commitment right now, or maybe you don't show that. But they would love to give, a equal, give and take in a relationship with you, male or female. It doesn't matter. This is just the energies, Cappy. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is what they're afraid of. They want you to know this, Cappy. That they want to offer you a cup of love, but I don't think they feel you will take it at this time or maybe you don't see that person, you know, in that light or that type of relationship with that person. 
Wow. They said you're just a person. That... Oh, come on. Who, are, who is this Capricorn? They say you're just a person going around saving lives. You're on a mission or <laughs> something, something like that. And I guess they, they, they truly want to offer a couple of, but they are afraid to offer you the couple of, Cappy, because they think it'll ruin the friendship. Or they think you won't accept it. But no matter what, they said they would be hurt. <laughs> yeah, they said they could be hurt about it if you don't uh, accept it, but it will not change who they see that you are. And, but... It will help them. It still has helped them heal. And if they have to move on and find someone else, it doesn't matter because your friendship means a lot to them. And, oh my goodness, I'm getting teary-eyed. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Okay. Um, Jesus, I'm so emotional. Yeah. Oh my goodness. The Four of Pentacles is under the bottom. And it goes with this. Oh my God. They don't care. They still want to hold on to you, Capricorn. They never want to lose you. And it'll be heartbreaking if you don't take this cup. But they do want to hold on to you. Oh, my goodness. One message just said, they fear that you're going to take a cup elsewhere one day. Because you deserve it. An equal give and take. But for now, they said they're just going to hold on to the friendship if you do not want to take their cup. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This is the way they feel about you. Nostalgia, childhood memories, fun. This person says you picked them up from a dark... You didn't pick them up from a dark place, Capricorn. You found them in a dark place. You found them in a dark place. And you helped them to get back balance and get on their feet. Whether you took them in, where you spent time with them, maybe you counseled them, talked to them. Ooh, I got to get out of this energy. Okay, okay. Y'all, this is, I don't know about these readings. All right, um, I, I got to get out of this energy. I'm sorry, Cappy. I'm glad for you, Cappy, that there's people out there in the world that, okay. <laughs> okay, if you're dealing with, let's, we, I gotta move on, uh, cause I won't be able to finish the reading, Cappy. Good job, Capricorn. Um, if you're dealing with a water sign, what do you want to say to Capricorn? If it's a water sign, what do you want to say? They think you're the high priestess. They think you have the key, the answers to it all. That's what the water sign is saying. This fell out. I put it under the bottom, but the spirit said, take it. This is eight. If you're dealing with an air sign, you got the eight of pentacles. They feel you put your all into it when you care about <clears throat> Jesus Christ. I need to ground this. They feel you put your all into it, Capricorn. Like, it doesn't matter. You keep coming back. Even when they feel that they don't have the strength to go on, you don't get tired. You come back and you keep working with them to help them build themselves up or see their worth. Or you just keep coming back, whether it's logically or from the heart. They just, yeah. Okay, earth sign. If it's an earth sign. This is so beautiful. Yeah, if it's an earth sign. They they just love you to death. They love literally. They like they love all the child. Like you you just brought the happiness back into their life. You've been part of their life. They've enjoyed this time with you, and they wouldn't trade it for anything. 
and it looks like you've been on some little journey with them and they just want you to know they love you um if it's a fire sign they got the seven of wands and the seven of wands would mean like someone is guarded but i see this seven of wands is them telling you that there's always a place for you behind them. They will protect you. Or Capricorn, it's saying this is what you've been doing. You've been guarded and you've been letting them heal behind you, right? Because you have a door. It's like you stood in front of the door. Mm, Capricorn, Jesus. Like, who are you, a saint? Like, <laughs> from like, you did a lot of healing on yourself to come up and show up for someone. And the universe has something for you, Cappy. All right, you stood in front of that door and you wouldn't let nothing come in and hurt them and harm them. And you've been guarding their understanding, their, their, their hearts. You just been there up and down no matter what as they went through this healing and this hurt or this place where you found them in a dark place and you guarded yourself. You guarded them from being hurt even more. You just was a true new companion, a true friend, companionship, sister, brother, uncle, auntie, someone that stand guard and, and they just feel like you are like their protector. And when they was down, you picked them up. And when they was up, you made them even high. Oh my God. All right. I, I got to go. Yeah. Under the bottom is strength. They want you to know they're stronger because of you. Because you were a true friend, because you helped them heal. You only you didn't tell them what they didn't want to hear. You didn't tell them what they wanted to hear, that you was just being there as a true friend. You didn't judge them. You didn't ask for them to show up to be more than they really was. You had no expectations on what they should be or not doing. You didn't judge them. That's what I'm hearing, Cappy. This is such a beautiful reading. I, I just, I, I have to, you know, this is probably one of the shortest reading, Cappy, because I have to get out of it because I can barely talk. Cappy, is this resonates with you? Um, Or someone really wanted to tell this to a cappy, definitely give a thumbs up and let that person know. Share this tutorial with them, this reading. Share, you know, give a thumbs up, comment, you know, put it out there in the universe, whatever. When you appreciate what someone's done for you and how they've been there for you, uh, life is really hard these days, right? Um, uh, you know, not hard, hard, but the what's going on in the world has been pretty difficult for a lot of people. And to have people show up for you and truly, genuine show up for you and you feel this way about them, you know, they need to know how much you appreciate them. Regardless of if they're coming in commitment with you or not. Um... This is beautiful, Capricorn. I can't wait to see your response later on during the month. It will be Capricorn's response to maybe this situation or it could be other situations. But give, hit the notification button so you don't miss it. Um, and that's it. I was going to do love messages, um, but I can't, Cappy, because the energies are really uh, emotional right now. And I wish you the best in this situation and this person that's sharing this message um, to you, Capricorn. Love and light. Goodbye, Cappy.